For over 20 years, Bobby Petrino has remained a prominent figure in football, but not for his numerous coaching positions between the NFL and collegiate athletics, nor his ability to take a struggling football program and turn them into a success story. Instead, he is associated with the biggest scandal of his career, involving his 25-year-old mistress and the lies that wreaked havoc on his family, players, and football programs for years to come. Today, I bring you the story of one of the most hated football coaches. In 1998, Petrino began coaching the Louisville Cardinals, where he helped the football program become top-ranked for scoring and total offense in Division 1A, winning six more games in the previous season. But after just one year, Petrino leaves Louisville and lands his first NFL coaching position with the Jacksonville Jaguars from 1999 to 2000. Behind closed doors, an opportunity to be the offensive coordinator at Auburn opens up, and Bobby takes it. Instead of sharing that information with the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Coughlin finds out through the media instead. Coughlin was furious. Needless to say, the two have never spoken since. In 2002, Petrino became the offensive coordinator for Auburn, with the offense significantly improving under Petrino. But after one year, just one year, again, he returns to the Louisville Cardinals, this time as head coach. But of course, another team comes knocking on his door. On January 7, 2007, less than six months after signing the 10-year contract with Louisville Cardinals, it was announced that Petrino had accepted the head coaching position for the Atlanta Falcons. Petrino's pattern was pretty obvious, yet teams were still willing to sign him. What an idiot. <laughs> Essentially, he leveraged each of his new coaching positions for more money with another team. There's nothing wrong with switching teams, but when you sign contracts and in less than a year you breach them, you start to burn bridges with a lot of people. Falcons brought Petrino to Atlanta with a five-year, $24 million contract. A huge reason Petrino was brought in was to develop star quarterback Michael Vick. However, before training camp, it emerged that Vick had been running an illegal dogfighting operation near his hometown in Virginia, and Vick's bail barred him from leaving Virginia before the November 26th training Trial, meaning he was done playing in 2007. The Falcons appear to be hopeless, and it showed with a 3 win and 10 loss record. So, what does Bobby do? It's Brittany, bitch. And I am back in the form of a new company. Touchdown, Arkansas! Petrino signed on to become head coach at the University of Arkansas less than 24 hours after personally promising owner Arthur Blank that he was staying in Atlanta. Petrino informed his players of his departure via a four cents laminated note left at the locker of each player. Petrino's contract with Arkansas was valued at $2.85 million per year for five years. In his first year of coaching, the Razorbacks ended the 2008 season with a record of five wins and seven losses, with two wins and six losses in the SEC. However, in 2009, Petrino and the Razorbacks showed significant improvement. And on October 17, 2009, the Razorbacks came close to upsetting the number one ranked Florida Gators the same year that Tim Tebow was quarterback and Aaron Hernandez played tight end. With Arkansas leading 20-13, to 13, the game came to a head in a controversial fourth quarter personal foul call on Arkansas lineman Malcolm Shepard resulted in a 15-yard penalty that allowed the Gators to continue on to their game-winning drive. It was such a bad call that the SEC issued an apology and suspended the officiating crew. However, under Petrino, the Razorbacks continued into the 2010 season, finishing 10 and 2 and claiming their first major bowl appearance in two decades. Even though the Hogs lost in the 2011 Sugar Bowl against Ohio State, the Hogs ended the 2011 season with an 11-2 record, their only losses to Alabama and LSU. First top 10 finish in 30 years. And in 2012, the Hogs defeated Kansas State 29-16 in the Dallas Cotton Bowl Classic. But with all the success, no one would expect what would come next. On April 1st, 2012, Bobby Petrino was involved in a motorcycle crash on Arkansas Highway. Petrino initially said to the investigating officer he was alone on his motorcycle when he blamed wind and sun in his eyes that caused him to fail to maneuver the turn. Petrino broke four ribs and cracked a neck vertebrae in the crash. However, just minutes before a police report was to be released, it was revealed that he was riding with former Arkansas All-SEC volleyball player 25-year-old Jessica Durrell, whom he had hired on March 28, 2011 as a student athlete development coordinator for the football program. Petrino admitted that Durrell was not only a passenger, but that he had been conducting an affair with her. A formal investigation was opened up and Athletic Director Jeff Long placed Petrino on a definite paid leave of absence. Petrino, his assistants, and others were investigated thoroughly. Petrino claimed he met 25-year-old Durrell at the Razorback Foundation Fundraiser, a program that raises money for the University Athletic Department, and was a previous employer of Jessica Durrell. During the investigation, handwritten notes suggested Petrino and Jessica were intimate for approximately five months. The university discovered over 300 phone calls and over 7,000 text messages between the two. Petrino told his boss that his affair with Durrell began
June with a kiss in the fall of 2011. Darrell said the two had been intimate 46 times around September 2010. Petrino told Long that Darrell was interested in the job as Student Athlete Development Coordinator, a job with over 150 qualified and more experienced applicants. Petrino and Darrell claimed to have ended their relationship once it became clear she wanted to apply for a job under Petrino, one he wanted her to earn. Yeah, you'll have to put out. So he hired her. It was determined that she received preferential treatment in her hiring on the football staff. No shit, Sherlock! It was also discovered that Petrino gifted Darrell $20,000 cash for Christmas. Hello, Daddy? Yes, Daddy. Darrell stated to Jeff Long the money was used for the car, wedding expenses, and a vacation. Did I mention Darrell was engaged? Engaged to a member of the Razorback Swimming and Dive Team staff. Meet Josh Morgan. Morgan stated that football gave her a bonus to get a car. The purchase of the black Acura apparently came three days after she was hired in her new position. Petrino stated to Long he never thought the gift was a problem or the relationship. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Not long after, Darrell quit her job and received a $14,000 settlement payment from the University of Arkansas. In case you're wondering, Jessica and her fiance stayed together and eventually married, which begs the question, was Morgan aware of the affair and encouraged the relationship for financial gain possibly? Tell me in the comments. On April 10th, nine days after the motorcycle crash, Jeff Long fires Petrino, stating Petrino lied to Arkansas and the public about the accident and his relationship with Darrell were grounds for firing and concluded the lies negatively affected the reputation of the University of Arkansas. He also stated that the $20,000 payment to Darrell could make the school vulnerable to sexual harassment lawsuit. The the impact of the motorcycle crash not only hurt Petrino, but was detrimental to the Arkansas football program for the next decade. It wasn't until 2020 that the Razorbacks started seeing improvement after the hiring of Sam Pittman. Years later, at the Little Rock Touchdown Club, Petrino came out and made a public apology to fans and players of Arkansas. I wanted to be able to come here and, and apologize to everybody, the fans, the players, uh, and truly tell you how sorry I am for the way it ended. Uh, but I also wanted to come here to thank you for everything that uh, people in this room and in the state did for me and my family. You were great to us. After losing his job, Petrino went on to coach at Kentucky in 2012. But of course, that wouldn't last long, and he returned to Louisville. On January 9, 2014, Petrino signed a deal for $24.5 million over seven years with a buyout of $10 million. The best years of Petrino's return to Louisville were from 2015 to 2017 with Lamar Jackson as quarterback. Jackson won the Heisman Trophy as a sophomore in 2016. However, after 2018, the Cardinals started to decline as Jackson gave up his senior year to enter the NFL draft. So of course, Bobby packs up his bags, and on January 15th, 2020, Missouri State University hired Petrino as the head coach. Ten years after the accident and the national embarrassment that followed, Petrino returned to Fayetteville, Arkansas, September 17, 2020, to face the Arkansas Razorbacks with his Missouri State Bears. It was the first time Bobby Petrino entered Reynolds Arena since he was fired in 2012. The game was a monumental moment for players, coaches, and fans, with the Arkansas fan base decking out in the infamous neck brace costumes of Bobby Petrino and neck braces being sold out at local pharmacies. The game was intense with the Missouri State starting off strong, scoring the first touchdown of the game, and Arkansas struggling in the first half. Missouri State scores a second time, leading Arkansas 17-0, but finally, Arkansas scores with Rocket Sanders delivering a touchdown, following another touchdown with Hazelwood. The defense was even starting to put up some massive blows to Missouri State. Right after, in Bobby Petrino fashion, he makes a call that throws off Arkansas's defense and decides to go for it on fourth and one. The Missouri State bombs it for a touchdown, follows with another touchdown before Arkansas delivers a 73-yard touchdown by Rocket Sanders. Rocket Sanders steps on the gas! A foot race! Touchdown! Not long after, an 80-yard punt return by Bryce Stevens gives Arkansas the first lead of the night. As Arkansas develops more steam, quarterback K.J. Jefferson runs it in for the final touchdown, not without Arkansas's defense and Drew Sanders delivering the ace sack of the night, defeating Missouri State 38-27. A beautiful ending for the Razorbacks, defeating the coach that brought them so much success and disappointment. Petrino and Pittman were seen shaking and smiling after the game, which led to some speculation of what Bobby Petrino told Sam Pittman during the brief interaction. Some saying Bobby had told Sam to call me or go get it all. Trino and his history of bringing programs out of slums doesn't go unnoticed. There have even been talks of him possibly going. If he is the choice by Jimbo Fisher to be the, the offensive coordinator and play caller. I want to know your take on this. Even though Bobby put himself and others through national embarrassment, do you think Bobby Petrino is sorry he got caught or sorry for what he did? Do you think coaches get away with more when they are winning? For more sports stories, be sure to check out my other videos here. Until next time, I'm Justine. Bye!